The James Webb Space Telescope's discovery of the universe's oldest black holes is giving astronomers some vital clues for how they came to be. The James Webb Space Telescope has made a groundbreaking discovery by detecting the oldest black hole ever observed, a colossal entity with a mass equivalent to 1.6 million suns. This ancient black hole resides 13 billion years in the past, within the infant galaxy GNZ11, nearly 440 million years after the universe's inception. The telescope, equipped with cameras capable of peering into the early stages of the universe, has identified not just one but numerous black holes that underwent rapid expansion during the cosmic dawn, around 100 million years post-Big Bang. The challenge lies in understanding how these cosmic whirlpools grew to such enormous sizes so swiftly. How the cosmic whirlpools ballooned in scale so rapidly after the universe began isn't clear. But looking for an answer could help explain how today's superassive black holes which anchor entire galaxies including our Milky Way grew to such mind-boggling sizes. Black holes in the early universe can't grow quietly and gently as many black holes do in the local universe. They must experience some peculiar birth or formation and some peculiar growth. Closer to the present day, astronomers believe black holes are born from the collapse of giant stars. But however, they come to be, they grow by ceaselessly gorging on gas, dust, stars, and other black holes. As they feast, friction causes the material spiraling into the black hole's moss to heat up, and they emit light that can be detected by telescopes turning them into so-called active galactic nuclei, or AGN. Nonetheless, astronomers haven't ruled out that some of these black holes could have been seeded by hypothesized primordial black holes, thought to be created moments after and in some theories even before the universe began. It's not so clear that direct collapse is the only way to make a black hole, because it needs some special circumstances for it to happen. You need it to be a pristine cloud, yet to be enriched by heavy elements made by the first stars and one that is fairly massive from 10,000 to up to a million solar masses. To prevent such a cloud from cooling too quickly and collapsing into massive stars first, it must also be beamed with ultraviolet light, likely from a nearby galaxy or black hole. So you need this peculiar condition where the cloud is not getting enriched by absorbing exploded star material, but is also next to another galaxy which is producing a lot of photons. So, we're not necessarily looking for a single scenario, actually two or more of them could be at play. In essence, the James Webb Space Telescope's discovery raises questions about the unique birth and growth processes of ancient black holes, offering astronomers crucial clues to the cosmic phenomena that shaped the universe's evolution. Viewers, let us know what you think about these supermassive black holes in the comments. If you are not a subscriber, please don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.